my dear students in this video we will understand how to evaluate a given post prix expression but before that we should understand the representation of arithmetic expressions yes basically there are three types of notations for representing arithmetic expressions as follows number 1 prefix notation two infix notation number 3 postfix notation which is also called a suffix notation prefix notation in this notation the operator will come before the operands i think example will be clear plus ab you can just observe plus is the operator ab are the operands operator plus comes before the operands a and b that is prefix number 2 is infix notation in this notation the operator will come in between the operands that is a plus b so the operator plus comes between the operands a and b and the third one is postfix notation in this notation the operator will come after the operands that is ab plus the operator plus comes after the operands a and b that's all simple note infix expression requires parenthesis whereas prefix and postfix expression do not require parenthesis see from uh, first standard till here all of us we have used infix expressions so we have used parenthesis also so infix expression requires parenthesis whereas prefix and postfix expressions do not require parenthesis that is a note now directly we shall go to evaluation of a given postfix expression i think we will uh, take some examples example 1 2 4 plus 2 and 4 are the operands plus is the operator so what is the answer for this 2 4 plus 2 plus 4 it is 6 so 6 is the answer example number 2 4 5 3 plus star so how to evaluate this see from the left go on scanning the symbols whenever you get an operator you just see the previous two operands in this particular case from the left if you start seeing you get plus before plus what are the two operands 5 and 3 yes so it is 5 plus 3 what is 5 plus 3 8 so you get 8 again scan you get star what are the two operands before star 4 and 8 so it is 4 into 8, 32, yes, 32. 32 is the answer. Simple. Example number 3, one more example. Yes, now here from the left, go on scanning until you get an operator. So you get operator plus. When you get plus, what are the two operands before plus? 2 and 3. So 2 plus 3 is 5. So you get 5. After that, next operator is minus. What are the two operands for minus? 1 and 5. Therefore, 1 minus 5 is minus 4. Yes. 4, 5, 6. No. Star. For star, what are the two operands? 5 and 6. Yes. Therefore, 5 into 6 is 30. Yes, 30. After that, plus. For plus, what are the two operands? 4 and 30. Yes. 4 plus 30 is 34. 34. Last operator plus, what are the two operands? Minus 4 and 34. Minus 4 plus 34 is 30. So 30. 30 is the answer. I think after understanding these three examples, any given postfix expression, you should be able to find the answer for that postfix expression using this method. Quite simple. Now, directly we should go to the operation of evaluating a given postfix expression using stacks. Now, this is the postfix expression that we are considering. And this is our stack. Now the stack is empty. Nothing is there in the stack. So we have to scan the symbols from the left to the right. And for each symbol, we have to do appropriate action. First, yes, we have to scan the symbols in the postfix expression from left to right. And for each symbol, we take appropriate action. Yes. First symbol is 1. What is 1? Operand. So whenever you get an operand, push it onto the stack. Operand 1 is pushed onto the stack. Yes, 1. Next symbol, 2. 2 is an operand. So whenever you get an operand, push it onto the stack. 2 is also pushed onto the stack. Next symbol, 3. 3 is an operand. Push it onto the stack. Yes, 3 is also pushed onto the stack. Next symbol, 
plus now carefully understand first time we are getting an operator for operator plus we pop the topmost element into b and the next topmost element into a after that we perform res is equal to a plus b and push res onto the stack now what is the topmost element 3 pop 3 into b pop 2 the next topmost element into a very good next perform res is equal to a plus b that is 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 push 5 onto the stack that's all good now again we shall go to the next symbol minus again that is an operator so for operator minus we pop the topmost element into b and the next topmost element into a perform res is equal to a minus b push res onto the stack so what is the topmost element here 5 5 is pushed onto 5 is taken into b and the next topmost element 1 is taken into a perform res a minus b is 1 minus 5 is equal to minus 4 minus 4 is pushed onto the stack yes next go to the next symbol 4 4 is an operand push it onto the stack 5 is an operand push it onto the stack 6 is an operand push it onto the stack next star star is an operator so whenever you get an operator what you have to do for operator star we pop the topmost element into b and the next topmost element into a and perform res is equal to a star b and push res onto the stack so what is the topmost element 6 so 6 will come to b next topmost element is 5 5 will come to a perform res 5 into 6 is 30 30 is pushed onto the stack Yes, star we have processed. Next symbol is plus. That is an operator. So whenever you get an operator, what you have to do? Again, for operator plus, we pop the topmost element into B and the next topmost element into A. But for RES is good. A plus B, push RES under the stack. So what is the topmost element here? 30. So 30 is taken into B. Next topmost element, 4 is taken into A. But for RES. So 4 plus 30 is 34. Now 34 is pushed onto the stack. Yes. Again, next symbol plus. That is also an operator. Again, for operator plus, we pop the topmost element into B and the next topmost element into A. Perform RES is equal to A plus B. Push RES onto the stack. Yes. Now, what is the topmost element? 34. 34 is popped to B. Next topmost element is minus 4, minus 4 is popped to A. RES, minus 4 plus 34 is 30. Now 30 is pushed onto the stack. Yes. All these symbols are processed. After processing all these symbols, there will be only one element in the stack. That is the answer for the post prefix expression. In our example, it is 30. Only one element is there on the top of the stack. That is 30. So 30 is the answer for the given post expression. I think the operation is very simple. So whenever you get an operand, push it onto the stack. Whenever you get an operator, pop the topmost element into B, next topmost element into A, perform RES is equal to A operator B and push RES onto the stack. If you remember this, I think the uh, operation is very simple. Now directly we should go to the algorithm. Yeah. The given postfix expression is assumed to be valid. We are not checking the validity of the postfix expression. We assume that the given postfix expression is valid. Yes. In the given postfix expression, we can either have an operand or an operator. That's all. So, step one scan the postfix expression from left to right and do the following for each symbol scanned. Yes, if the scanned symbol is an operand, push it onto the stack. Simple. If it is an operator, pop the topmost element. B, next topmost element A and perform RES is equal to A operator B, push RES under the stack. That's all. And after, after all the symbols are over, display the only element in the stack. This is the result of the evaluation of the given post prefix expression. That's all. Step 3, stop. I think the algorithm is very simple. Actually, you should know whenever you get an operator, what you have to do. Whenever you get an operator, what you have to do. If you remember these two rules, the algorithm is also quite simple. Now, directly we should go to the program. Yes. Stop is equal to minus 1. Pop. Yes. I think all of you know the pop function. Next push. Yes. 
bush and bow function we have written. Now, E is dig. We have to check whether it is digit. If it has to be digit, see, we are reading the postfix expression as a string. But in the string, we have to find out if it is a digit. How to check? If the character ASCII value is between the ASCII value of 0 and 9, it's a digit. Therefore, you can just see if symbol is greater than or equal to ASCII value of 0 and less than or equal to ASCII value of 9, yes, it is a digit return true. Yes, return 1 digit. Now, 3 three parameters, OP1, OP2 and symbol. Based upon the symbol, yes, switch upon the symbol. Case plus, return OP1 plus OP2. Otherwise, return OP1 minus OP2. I think this is quite simple. You, you, you will easily understand this. Yes. This is the operation that we are performing. OP. Now, the main program. Postfix, character array string. Yes. Enter the postfix expression. We are reading it as a string. Postfix expression is read as a string. Yes. String length of postfix. I is less than or equal to. I is initially 0. I is less than or less than string length of postfix. Yes. You take the symbol. Check if it is a digit. If it is a digit, push it onto the stack. Don't push the ASCII value. Push the digit. Therefore, symbol minus ASCII value of 0. Push the digit. Yes. Because it's, it should be an operand. Else, pop the topmost element into OP2, next topmost element into OP1, RES you perform through the function OP, just now we wrote that, and then push RES. That's all. Do this for all the symbols in the postfix. At the end, you will have only one value. Pop it. That is the answer for the given postfix expression. I think the uh, operation, function and the program for postfix expression for evaluation of a given postfix expression is quite simple and quite straightforward. Nothing, no, no complication at all.